Hello Hendrickson, it is time for our final math lesson of the week. So all week we've been practicing counting to 10, so let's not stop now. Get your fingers ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job everybody. Right, for today's lesson, you are going to need your number cards that you made yesterday, okay? You're gonna need these again today, and you're going to need, remember, we are now working with 10 frames. Now, when I'm doing this, I could use objects to put them in. However, I don't quite have enough objects to a magnet on here to show you, so I'm going to be drawing mine in. Now, you can draw if you like, or you can use objects. It is completely up to you. Now, today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be practicing using both ways of filling up the 10 frame to make the same number. And we're going to make them side by side so that we can have a look at them and see that they both make the exact same number. So let me demonstrate. I have got my number cards here. I'm going to take a number. Let me see. It's the number. What number is that? Yeah, it's number eight. Okay, so I'm going to write the number 8 over here. Okay, so the number 8 is the one that we're doing because that's the one that I picked. So number 8. So I'm going to fill in the two tens frames using the two different methods. The first way I'm going to do is I'm going to go along the top and then start on the next row and then go along. Just like this. Now, you can draw whatever you like in these boxes. It doesn't matter so long as there's only one thing in each box. So, for example, I'm going to do heart. Oh, I need to count them as I go, don't I? One, two, three, four. Can you help me keep count and stop me when I get to eight? Four, five. Now, where does the next one go? Does it go here? Here? Oh, yes, it goes here. So I've got five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, thank you for reminding me to stop. So, I've now got eight in there, haven't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I've stopped. I don't need to fill in these two. Okay. Now, the other way of doing it, like I showed you the other day, is we start here, and then we go here, and we fill in from this side, and we go along, okay, until we get to eight. Now, this time, count with me. I'm going to do hearts again. Ready? One. Then down here. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And stop. Thank you for reminding me. So, in both of these, is the number the same or equal or are they different? Have a think. Can you tell me if they're both equal or if they're different? They look different, don't they? But we counted them and there's eight in both of them, isn't there? So it doesn't matter whether you use this method or this method. We know that there's eight because we counted eight and also there's two empty boxes in each one. So there's your challenge for today. I would like you to pick some numbers and to have a go at doing both ways. Now, like I said, the easier way is to use objects and place them in. Use your number card and show me the two different ways. You'll need two 10 frames for this. Or you can draw it out like I've done and draw one object in each box just like we would do with, with our actual object and do it for your number. Now, the next challenge is, can you also use this to write out a number sentence? For example... We have eight hearts and we have two empty boxes. Eight add two equals how many altogether? It must be ten, mustn't it? Because it's in our ten frame. So there's your challenge. Can you recognize the numbers one to ten? 
So when you do your number card, practice recognising those numbers. Okay? The second one is, can you count out that many objects and put them in the 10 frame using both methods? Or can you draw them in? Okay, I'd like you to have a go at doing both. And then, finally, can you have a go at writing the number sentences? Don't forget to put your work up on tapestry when you are done. And I look forward to seeing it there.